Alrighty, guys, this is our final broadcast of January 2022. Wow, Kiara, this month has truly rolled right on by. <laughs> no kidding. Just to let you know, today's announcements involve more of you than ever before. Yes, Kiara, our team has created a fun parody involving teachers, students, fonts and fronts, and even administrators. Lily, what's a parody? Good <laughs> question, Kiara. A parody is an imitation of something with deliberate exaggeration for a comedic effect. Gotcha, this is going to be fun. Yes, it is. The parody will be shown at the end of today's segment. So hold on tight, and thanks so much to all of you who have participated. Lily, we have another full week of sports to report. Yes, we do, and our swimming and diving team is in action now, too. Oh, yeah. Let's get started. Absolutely. Roll with it, Morgan and Emma. out there. Yes, be safe. I'm Morgan Harris. And I'm Emma Harris. We're going to give you our sports report in chronological order starting with last Thursday night. Sounds great, Emma. Last Thursday, our RD wrestlers traveled to Plainfield where we barely lost the meet with a score of 55 to 51. Our wrestlers worked hard and did well against a strong Plainfield team. Scoring for the team were 85 pound Dalen Lane who won by pin, 106 Ezra Osler who won by pin, 126 Joel Sumner, who won 7-4, and 132 River Jackson, who won by pin. And 138 Morgan Harris, who won by pin. Great job, Morgan. Thank you, Emma. 145 Jonathan Fuller, who won by pin. 160 Coleman Dittermore, who won by pin. 195 Lucas Dewey, who won by forfeit. And 220 Mason, who won by forfeit. Also competing last Thursday night were our 7th and 8th grade girls basketball team who hosted St. Charles. The 7th grade team fell to St. Charles with a score of 16 to 11. Yeah! Scoring for the team were Addie Carroll with 4, Brylene Hamlin with 3, Rayleigh Smith with 2, and Avea Dillon with 2. Coach Carter said, and I quote, we did some really good things and played pretty well on the defensive end. We got better and we'll keep trying to get better each week. Our eighth grade team also lost to its tough St. Charles team. Last Saturday, our wrestling team competed in our home Artesian Invitational. Our Arties went three and one on the day. That's right, Emma. We defeated Indian Creek, Cascade, and Bloomington Middle School club team. We only fell short to Clark Pleasant. Our Arties had a great first swim and dive meet against Decatur. Yes, we did, Emma. Our girls team defeated Decatur with a score of 98 to 58. With some outstanding performances were Kylie Etter, who finished first in both the 100 and 200 freestyle, Bree Heinzelmeyer, who finished first in the 100 IM and the 400 freestyle, Angela Hood sprinted to first place in the 50s freestyle and Cadence Carver was first place in 50 Butterfly. Kendall Etter won the 100 backstroke, and Liliana Hudson won the diving competition. Coach Angie said, and I quote, we'd like to personally congratulate Angela Hood and Liliana Houston for stepping up under pressure and having such a standout performance for the first time meets. Great job, ladies. Now, a report on the boys meet. Our guys fell in a close meet against Decatur with a score of 67 to 59. Outstanding performances were seen by Braxton Brummett, who won the 50 freestyle, and Vincent Rush, who won the 50 butterfly. Coach Angie wanted to give a shout out to Jude Ralph, who had two solid second place finishes, and for being such a hard worker in the pool. That's awesome! Way to go, Jude! Yes, it is. Way to go, girls and guys diving teams and swimming teams. Next, we'll be reporting on Tuesday night's wrestling meet against Paul Hadley Middle School. That's right, Emma. On Tuesday, our guys traveled to Morrisville, where we had experienced an extremely odd situation. What do you mean, Morgan? Well, we arrived to find that Paul Hadley had forfeited six of their matches. What does that mean? Well, a forfeit is when a team does not have a wrestler for a certain weight class. Oh, I get it. 
I'm here to report that 100% of our John R. Wooden team won last night against Paul Hadley in only 15 minutes time. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, yet awesome. Exactly. Well, I think that does it for this week's sports. Next, we'll bring you coverage on the wrestlers match last night against Decatur. In addition, we will fill you in on the swim and dive meet last night against Greenwood and their upcoming meets next Monday and Wednesday. Also, after a week off of games, our girls basketball team will be back in action against Perry Meridian on Monday night, and there will be a face-off against Franklin next Thursday. In the words of our very own John Wooden, and I quote, a strong leader accepts blame and gives the credit. A weak leader gives blame and accepts the credit. Be a, be a strong, strong leader! leader. working hard artists. Guys, we haven't heard from our weather crew for a while. Therefore, this week, we are going to bring back our fast forward weather forecast. Reporting for us back in the studio this week are our very own fast forward non-Doppler meteorologist, Quinn Sparrow Black and Gavin Long. Gear, I'm Quinn and I'm Gavin Long, and today we're looking at this, this week's week weather. Gavin, I'm so glad that we have this segment back up and running, and I love weather! Same here, Quinn. For this weekend's weather, we have similar temperatures as we've experienced throughout the week. Today, we're predicting the cloudy skies and our attempts to get it to stay in about the freezing range. We will have a high of 29 degrees and a low of 17 degrees. And on tomorrow, our skies will actually will actually see the sun. Can you believe that? The high will be about 31. The cold will be about 14. On Sunday, we will return to gloomy skies. However, we will finally have above freezing temperatures with a high of 39 degrees to low of 17 degrees. Guys, that's a wrap for the weather this weekend. Bundle up, and we'll see you next week. Have, have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. We are rolling right through these announcements. Yes, we are. It's now time for our weekly news from the office. Be sure to watch to the end as the video as you all helped us create this segment. Yes, it is. A huge shout out and thanks to all who participated. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. And now here are Audie and Cadence to finish off our 13th edition of Fast Forward. Take it away. Hello everyone, we're here to share with you our news from the office. Eighth graders, don't forget to send your baby pictures to Mrs. Kucinic. That's right, the deadline of February 15th is only a little over two weeks away. Get them in eighth graders. Now, reporting live from the library are Keely McCohen and Dalen Calhoun, who are going to share with us the results of yesterday's spelling bee here at Wooden. Over to you, Keely and Dalen. Cadence and Audie, I am Keely McGowan, and I'm Bailey Calhoun. We are here to report on yesterday's final round of the House Spelling Bee here at Wooden. 
The final round took place yesterday during first period and third period in the library. Competing in the round were 19 of our fellow wooden students. Cyrus Breesford, Kaylee Conway, Zach Cox, Jack Cox, Darren Craig, Danielle Crawford, Ethan Dickerson, and Emily Dis Discall. Quinn Fellow, Jack Grisham, Grisham, Mary Grisham, Brianna Henselmeyer, Haley Hickman, Isabel Hurst, Landon Houston, Nico Enman, Peyton Maxwell, Kellen Moore, Lily Parker, Joan Perkins, Abram Polly, Anthony Rush, and Jesse Wallace. Moving on to the final local spelling bee called the IUB are three students. Those who will be competing in this round at the Marone County Public Library on February 26th are Third place, Kellen Moore, runner-up, Haley Hickman, and First place, Avery Hall. The National Spelling Bee will take place during the week of Memorial Day in Washington, D.C. and will be broadcast live on ESPN. Good luck, winning spellers. Thanks, Daylin and Keeley, and good luck to all the spelling finalists. Next up for news from the office, we have a special I Learned Smackdown segment that got many wooden students, teachers, and administrators up out of their chairs, moving and a-grooving. Yes, this is a super fun week, and we want to thank all of you who participated in this next piece. Cadence, please forgive me, but this whole Smackdown theme reminded me of a joke I heard. Okay, let's hear it. Why would I bring a piece of paper to a wrestling match? Um, I don't know. In case my opponent is The Rock. <laughs> oh, what has this segment become? Without further ado, we introduce you to our very first Fast Forward parody. Enjoy, guys. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! I've been working hard, learning at my desk and virtually, maybe my hard work spells victory, maybe, you know I know it all, I won't let an essay stress me out, answers double checked I have no doubt, don't worry, I take my time and Remember all I practice Language arts and mathematics I'm thinking clearly, here we go Oh, oh, and I said, ooh I'm gonna pass, I learned Oh, I can do it, I will do my best I said, ooh, I am the A-R-N Working with grid towards are my quest. Hey, hey, hey. Learning all the time. Fractions lining up on number lines. Reading comprehensions on my mind. No worries. Oh. Remember all I practice, language arts and mathematics. I'm thinking clearly, here we go. Oh, oh, and I said, ooh, I'm gonna pass I learn. Oh, I can do it, I will do my best. I said, ooh, I am the ARN. Working with grid tactics on my quest. Hey, hey. The answer is A, B, C, or D. It's true, true or false, I can, I can guarantee. Top scores, now here I go. go. It's time. I said, Ooh, I'm gonna pass, I learn. Oh, I can do it, I will do my best. Ooh, I am the ARN 
Great task was on my quest. 